Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I wanna show you how to use the new Community Star rating that's built into LaunchBox 7.15. It's really easy to use and it's an awesome feature built into LaunchBox. Let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I have all my games selected here. I'm just gonna to go to PlayStation 2, God of War. Now, if we look over here in the right-hand column, we can see I don't have a star rating but the community star rating is 2.92. Total community star rating votes, 15 people have voted on this. This is one of my favorite games for the PlayStation 2, so I'm gonna go ahead and rate it five stars. If you notice when I hover over, the colors change on the stars. So the community star rating is 2.92. My rating is four and a half. Now my rating will be automatically uploaded to the Community Star rating within the LaunchBox Games database. You need to be updated to LaunchBox 7.15 for this to work. I recently did a video on another awesome feature called Retro Achievements. I will leave a link to that video in the description. If you wanna check out the full change log, I'll also have the link for the change log in the description below. So this is really easy to set up. First thing we want to do is make sure we have all of our games selected or whatever games you want to update the metadata on. I want to update all of my games. So I'll make sure I choose all, tools, download metadata and media. From here, we'll click next. Make sure search for game information from the LaunchBox games database is checked and click next. I only want to download the metadata. So what I did was click select none that will unselect everything in here. Click Next. Same thing with EMU Movies. Click Select None and Next. From here, we wanna choose the second option. Yes, but do not replace any existing fields or media. What this is gonna do is only update the Community Star ratings. So we're gonna choose number two here and click Finish. Successfully updated metadata for 2,268 games. Click OK. If you don't want your star rating to be automatically uploaded to the LaunchBox Games database, we can turn that off by going to Tools, Options, find Search, and right here, the third box down, uncheck it. Upload star ratings to LaunchBox Games database. We can turn that off. I want mine to go there. So I'll leave it on, click OK, and that's it. Now when you click on a game, you should have the Community Star Rating listed over here. Really easy to get set up. Now it's time to go rate some games. There's 29 votes on the Seventh Saga here. I kind of agree with them, maybe one and a half stars. So I'll choose one and a half stars here. It's really nice to have this feature inside of LaunchBox, but my favorite part about this whole Community Star rating system is it's also been implemented into Big Box. I'm gonna start Big Box now. I'm gonna show you how to set up a hotkey so you can view the Community Star ratings and rate games from within Big Box. Let's go ahead and start it up now. All right, so now we're in Big Box mode. We're gonna press B on our controller or back on your keyboard, whatever you have set up. From here, we're gonna go to Options and scroll down to controller buttons. Press A. We want to set a key for set star rating. I'm going to set that as start, so I'll press A and then press start. I'm using an Xbox One controller. I'll go back. Now I'll find a game. I'll go to GameCube. I'll find a game to rate here. Automotilista is one of my favorite racing games of all time. I wish they would come back out with this. Capcom did an amazing job with this cell shaded racing game. You can view the community rating here and rate it by pressing start, or we can go deeper into the game and do the same thing. You'll need to press the hotkey you set up to set your star rating. You can use your D-pad to rate the game. And I'm gonna have to give it a five star. Press A. Now my star rating is five and this will automatically be uploaded to the community star rating system on our LaunchBox games database. So it's really easy to set up the community star system inside of LaunchBox and BigBox. Now, a lot of new features have been added. One of my favorites is retro achievements. I mentioned that at the beginning of the video. 
go ahead and check that video out. Link is in the description. If you've never heard of it, you're going to love it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.